Video three on creating your color model for your character or your color pots for your character. And we can see that I've already created a list of names in the previous video. And I have another extra color here. If, if you have additional ones that you don't need, you can simply remove color. Or if you want to add some later on, you can always press the plus sign. They, they, you can, uh, sometimes you'll find as you go along, you need them. Now, we need to color pick these colors. I'm just going to get rid of that one that I created. And again, I start at the top and work my way down. It's sort of like the way that I like to work. Uh, if I just start going all over the place choosing things, I could forget something. But if I say, okay, well, what's the very top thing? Maybe it's his line. But I've already got the line as jet black and I think in this case it's pretty much jet black so I'm going to just skip over the line and go all over to the fill. Now to choose this color I need to double click on the color pot and choose this dropper and then I just go anywhere inside the the orange and click and it automatically selects that color. There it is right there. I can close that and I can go through the character and color pick all, all of his colors. So I'm going to grab that, that, the gray. Dark gray suit. Go down to where I have the dark gray and grab that. Okay. Skin fill. Grab that. Skin shadow fill. So I'm going to zoom in. And I like to zoom in because... There's a bit of a transition between light and dark, so if you go in the area, you're going to have a different color than if you grab in the middle. So skin shadow dark, I'll grab that color. Eye fill, go up to the eye. And I'm going to just choose all of my colors. So I'm going to do my pupil fill, which would be this color. Now I can see that this color here has a bit of transparency. There's transparency there and there's transparency over the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of wing this one a bit. I'm going to go to my pupil highlight. I'm going to choose the color and I'll say it's sort of halfway transparent. I'm going to go to the alpha and I'm going to put it about halfway and I can change this later on and we can see that we've created a transparent color. If I need more alpha, I can modify it when I see the character painted. If I need less, I can always add by just moving it back and forth. And it, it updates inside the color palette after I've created it. The teeth, I'll just grab the same color white because I don't have the model yet. And I'll leave the tongue and the inner mouth empty. Space suit red. I'll go down and grab that red color. Space suit white. Grab that. And go down to the belt. We have our belt fill. We have our belt buckle fill. And we have our belt buckle dark fill. The one thing you'll notice is these, the belt buckle and the belt buckle dark. Sometimes I want to put these together so I can just grab it and move it up, up the list. So now those sit beside each other. And last thing we have spacesuit white shadow fill. And I'm going to go get those shadow fills off here. Grab that color. And maybe I'll sit that beside the white space suit fill. Space suit fill. So now we have these two sitting beside each other. And that's how we create our color um, choices from our color model.